Hi, welcome to Zynerd. Thank you for registering with us. I am Ashok. I've been supporting Neat PG counseling for the last eight years, and we have created Zynerd based on student feedback, uh, based on how they want to approach counseling and what information would support them in managing counseling. Uh, this is a systematic way to manage counseling, and we were still getting feedback from uh, aspirants on what can be done with Zynerd and uh, uh, the utility value of Zynerd. Uh, there's been tremendous response. Thanks for that. In this video, we'll quickly run you through all the features of Zynerd, uh, uh, how you can use it to manage the data and what is the data available and uh, in detail. Uh, so you once you register uh, and uh, take up uh, and log in, you will see this page. For those of you who haven't subscribed, you will only see the subscription plans. You can go through the features and uh, details in the uh, subscription plan. As of now, we are uh, only offering the Zynerd standard plan, which is complete website access without any direct support. Uh, the Zynerd Pro, Pro plan will be offered in the days forward. We have just started and we are just looking at uh, the time available and then we'll be offering these plans. Uh, for all those who are registered, who have registered earlier or who have subscribed after we launched the plans, this is a screen that you will see. Uh, you can quickly run through the announcements that are available. Every announce we intend to update every announcement that is available as we move forward. Uh, over the last two days, uh, we've been updating most of the announcements. We will do that within a day's time of the announcement and before the deadlines are available. So here you look at any counseling, you will be able to see all the updates of that counseling. So if it is Maharashtra or All India counseling, you will be able to see all the announcements of that uh, of the counselings that you are interested in. You can search based on counseling schedule or whether the seat matrix have been published, et cetera. You just select it, you will see what all counseling seat matrix has been published or what is the status of each counseling. You'll also have this tab which says the, which has more, uh, which is the events and the deadlines. So if you look at it, the registration had started for Maharashtra earlier on Jan 13, you will have all the announcements, all the events that have happened with the date here. Uh, today, uh, the Andhra Pradesh Management Quota Medical Registration ends and it has been extended. You would be uh, uh, seeing that in the, uh, announcements page and this will be updated once uh, uh, it is uh, uh, on 22nd it will be updated and you'll have the upcoming events as well over here so uh, you will see that tomorrow the open round for INISET is going to happen Rajasthan Pedic medical counseling extend has extended registration but it is all getting over by 16th etc so you'll have all the announcements here Jan 17th Karnataka PG medical registration fee has to be paid etc so uh, all these will uh, be available for your respective counselings. You will you can just uh, filter out on what is available, uh, what is upcoming or what is happening today and deadlines will be available here for your counselings. And then these are the tabs that you have under the resources tab. You will be able to see the need percentile calculator and all the past information, the entire 2020 counselling information of all states uh, is available here. Uh, the round, round, round wise allotments, etc. You go into all state details, you will click, you can click on the entire notifications available for all states here. You just click on Chhattisgarh, you'll be able to see the fee details, allotments, merit list, prospectus, and every notification that has been done uh, of Chhattisgarh of last year, every allotment that has been done of Chhattisgarh last year. All of these are available in PDF formats here. Uh, we'll come to how you can source the entire data through easily filterable uh, options in, in our page. Now, uh, similarly, DNB bond of last year, seat matrix, etc. Everything is available. You can also look at AFMS counseling details, uh, certain counseling details, which will not be available anywhere else. Uh, next, you have the NEAT PG tab. Uh, INISET is similar to NEAT PG. So I'll, I'll just take you through what is available in NEAT PG. You can look at any counseling. You can look at the counseling. Uh, you can look at, go to the website of the counseling and look at the prospectus. If the registration is... Uh, uh, is on, then you can go to the particular website and start registering. So if you go to Andhra Pradesh Management Quota, you will be able to see the prospectus, the registration links as well are available there. For All India Counseling, the MCC registration link is available. And similarly, you will be able to see that for all counselings. We intend to update it as we, uh, if there is any update, etc., we will update it to the latest links. And the universities are available here. This is more of information that might not be of much value to you as of now because you would know most of the institutes and the universities that they belong to. But still, if you want to go to a particular university and see which are the colleges available at that university, you will be able to do that. And uh, you know which university is it, uh, whether it is a state or a government university, you can filter that out. Any other institute tab? The institute tab uh, is uh, has uh, the details of the institute. You will also have the details of uh, whether it is a state institute, government institute, government institute or a private institute, etc. And you can filter out the institute based on whether uh, if you want to see the, all the armed forces institutes, you will be able to filter out all the institutes. If you want to see all the deemed universities, the 
uh, NB uh, institutes, etc., you will be able to filter them based on this, based on state or institute type, which is uh, either uh, uh, any, uh, any set institutes, etc. Now, the courses are there. The courses are also simple. Most of you would know all the courses. This includes all the courses, including uh, NBA diplomas. Wherever NBA diplomas are offered, you will be able to filter them out on in the diplomas and find out what are the NBA diplomas that are offered as well. Uh, only uh, eight NBA diplomas are offered as of now. And uh, finally, you have the, mo the most important part, which is the allotments and closing rounds. We have mapped every allotment of every counseling uh, in this entire uh, of 2020 here. Here, you, you can go to any state. For instance, Andhra Pradesh government quota, these allotments are not available uh, as PDF usually. These are uh, collated from the website uh, literally one by one and shared as PDFs by us till now. Now we have put it in a format that is easily filterable for you. So the, uh, you can see that these are the allotments that are available. Rank 1 was allotted SV Medical College Tripadi, And you can filter it out on any... Uh, if you want, just want to see only round one, you will be able to filter it out. You want to see what happened in round five, you will be able to filter it out and see. Based on quota, uh, you can also select uh, only clinicals. You have multiple filters on category. If you want to, if you are a person who belongs to an uh, unreserved category, which is uh, non-local, uh, open, uh, uh, and uh, male candidate, you just select on this, and you will be able to see what seats were allotted for that particular category in Andhra in that particular in a particular round. You'll have one, two, three. You can also select on a particular round and filter this. Now, there is a beautiful, uh, the Andhra merit list has been recently released. But in case you think that this counseling rank, for your counseling, you only have your uh, All India rank, you don't have a counseling rank, just click on this toggle. You will be able to see the All India rank. So this is the All India rank of the candidate of last year. This, these are the ranks that are, uh, the reference point would be the NEET PG ranks that were re released on September 28, 2021. And you look at, always look at this part where you will have the list of uh, round, the number of rounds and certain remarks on uh, how to view the allotment and what an explanation of what each uh, terminology is, if it is AU, SBU, et cetera, which is mentioned in the, uh, in, uh, the category, then what it is, is mentioned over here. So this is for state counselings. Similarly, you will be able to go into All India Counseling and then uh, select uh, every uh, every institute or course and filter it out, or uh, now they, uh, or or uh, see whatever information you want. The next thing is the closing ranks part. The closing closing ranks part is of twenty twenty. You have all the state closing ranks. This is exactly like allotments, except that there is one amazing additional feature. You will be able to see the closing ranks of every category seat allotted across every counseling in India last year. So uh, you can click, let's say you were looking at radio diagnosis, uh, just only radio diagnosis, just uh, look at uh, filter on uh, MD radio diagnosis, filter on your quota. Let's say you only looking at seats in the AAQ and not in uh, deemed universities and you belong to general category, you will see all the closing ranks of all the radio diagnosis seat choices of last year. Uh, here, let's say you're looking at uh, Nizam's Institute, Hyderabad or, or Telangana or uh, uh, let's say LTM Mumbai. Let's say LTM Mumbai is what you're looking at. There are three seats that have been allotted. You want to know which seat allotments were there. You can't, you don't need to go back to the allotment list. You can just click on this and you will see all the three allotments for round one. And you will also see that there are three allotments for round two, the same allot, same candidates who did not leave those seats. So if it is Sanjay Gandhi, you can see what what ranks it was allotted in round one and then where there was a change in round two in terms of ranks different ranks going up to 285 this you can do for any category you just want say i, I want to know M, not only md uh, radio diagnosis i will also want to look at md dermatology just add md dermatology it's as simple as that you want to change the category you just change the category and you will be able to see it you want to see it for only one institute let's say you want to see it only for madras medical college just add madras medical college and you will have it multiple institutes multiple seat categories are there you don't want to limit it to md radio diagnosis or dermatology you want to look at all clinicals you will be able to click on on clinicals and you will be able to see the data there you want you and an ultimate thing is I don't want to see all the seats. I just want to see it. I'm ranked 5,000. I want to see all the seats that close between 2,500 and 7,500. Limited to 2,500 and 7,500, you will be able to see this. This is uh, the information that we have uh, 
this is the framework that we have created to make it very simple for you. Now, uh, uh, when it uh, we wanted to go a little beyond this and give you more uh, uh, support in terms of what you can manage. So we have created the seat matrix thing where we have uploaded the All India seat matrix. I'm not sure whether we'll be able to do that for every state, but we'll try to do that. As of now, we have done it for All India. And we will assure you that we'll do it for All India vacant seats as well. Uh, we'll try to do it for other institutes as well. Uh, other counselings as well. Now, if you look at it, uh, this has the complete list of all seats available in All India Counselling, which you see in the choice list. There might be some seats which are deleted now or uh, in the uh, later, we will also delete those choices here. Uh, now, if you look at it, it is exactly, so you will see that uh, the seats are sorted in closing ranks order of last year. So, Maulana Azad closed at rank 13 last year. That was the top closing institute you'll see that general medicine seats are there. Why would this be, how would this be helpful? Let us say I'm looking at general medicine. Uh, I'll just click on general medicine and I belong to a particular category. I'll select the category and I'm interested only in all India quota seats. I'll select all India quota seats. Now I'll be able to see a preference order of all candidates, uh, of candidates of last year. Now this will clearly tell me at what rank these, these seats were taken. Uh, for usually, if you're a top ranked candidate, you may know that these seats were taken at these ranges and you will be able to fill those choices. Uh, if you're a candidate, let's say, who's at rank uh, 3,000, 3,500, you want to look at all seats. I'm not aware of many seats at Andhra Pradesh. I want to look at very, very what, are long, uh, the, what are the different states uh, seats at Andhra Pradesh and when they closed. You will be able to see when they closed and what are the possibilities. And... Uh, the possibilities may differ, but this will give you a preference ranking of candidates. Now, we sincerely suggest that you don't go exactly with this preference ranking. This is based on multiple factors. Some of the institutes might have closed earlier because there is a locational preference of a candidate and there's only one seat, but this will give you a base to start with in case you don't have an idea about, an, uh, about a particular state, etc. And then you want to look at information. For example, I'm looking at Assam and I'm looking at uh, pediatric seats in Assam. And this gives me an idea. I'm looking at, if I want to look at um, uh, deemed seats, I have no idea about which deemed institute was preferred, which deemed ins for uh, pediatrics last year. Then I, this will give you an idea of all pediatric allotments and which, one which one's closed the earliest. So you will clearly know that SRMC, Kasturbas uh, are, the, are the most preferred and you will have a clear order. You, if you look at general medicine too, I want to look at both general medicine and pediatrics, then you can look at both and you will see where each of this, those were closed and what are the preferences between, uh, between different uh, 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 courses, there will be different preference. You will be able to set, check that as well. So if in some courses, some institutes may be preferred, etc. But again, this does not give you an evaluation of institutes. This is a preference of candidates, but this will give you some information to start with if you don't have any now. Now, uh, we always insist that you evaluate it with candidates from those institutes. Don't go by social media uh, or forum feedback. There is more misinformation than information available to save preferred seats. And there's a lot of misinformation floating around. But this, uh, you can always correlate whatever you have already done, your choices with candidate preferences to see where you have missed so that you can go back. Uh, let's say I've already uh, decided on my uh, pediatrics uh, uh, order list. Then you can have a look at uh, the pediatrics order list here by selecting the exact quota that you have done, uh, that you've uh, uh, you, you've uh, selected and uh, here you will see the list of uh, preferences and if your order is somewhere one choice and your order is very different from uh, uh, the order here then you can go relook and see evaluate if that is the right order and why you uh, uh, why and based on why you intend to make that choice the last part is the fees part uh, we have mapped every fee structure here uh, so what you will be able to see is you just select on a particular course, uh, majorly used for deemed candidates. There is also many institutes under AAQ which have a high fee structure. So I do I go to anesthesiology and I'll be able to see all the fee, the fee structure of all institutes under anesthesiology. If I want to select institutes with only one year bond, I'll be able to one year bond or no bond, etc. I'll be able to select those institutes. And uh, let's say uh, uh, this is uh, let's say I want to look at institutes only in the state of Tamil Nadu. I'll be able to do that. I am selecting Deem Tamil Nadu Anesthesiology Institutes and I am looking at the closing ranks of all institutes. Another uh, beautiful thing that we have added is the stipend details the uh, uh, and other details. Basically, here you will also be able to see 
the bond years, the penalty, the fee details of the institute, the hostel fees is added here, the stipend as available in MCC or as evaluated by us. Uh, if you have evaluated the institute directly with the candidate, we have updated that too, if MCC information is wrong. Otherwise it is avail as available in MCC. And you can also see that here we have the deduction details. So what happens if you go to a deemed institute and you uh, the amount gets deducted after, uh, uh, what is the amount that gets it's directed after you are upgraded to a round two seat uh, from a round one seat that is also available here and what happened uh, and the seat leaving penalty is also available for what is more relevant for uh, uh, candidates who are uh, taking aaq seats is a stipend and uh, uh, stipend and bond so if i'm a candidate uh, who is looking at uh, let's say all india quota seats i will just go here look at government institutes all the government institutes are listed down here and I will uh, uh, I will select uh, a particular state if, if I want, or I will just leave it blank. And you will be able to see the bond years, the exact bond years for all all uh, all uh, seats. If you want to filter out only those states which do not have a bond, you can filter out only those states which do not have a bond, and you can see all the details, the deduction fees, etc. Over here for that institute, the basic fee and stipend. Bond penalty is already available here. You can select the state. And beyond that, we will also tell you whether the bond is bond plus stipend or bond plus penalty, uh, what is the exact uh, seat leaving penalty, et cetera. That will also be available here. So you can take decisions. If I want to have, uh, so let's say I'm looking at government institutes. Uh, we'll close with this. I am looking at government institutes. I have, I just want to know what government institutes have a fee structure of more than one lakh. Just change it to more than one lakh. There are government institutes even which have a fee structure of let's uh, even at uh, till around uh, 2.5 lakhs. So I'll be putting in three lakhs here, one lakh to three lakh course fee institutes. You have it here, Maharashtra, and then you will have the entire list of institutes with the courses. Then the fee may differ course wise, and that is why uh, we have a course wise uh, fee listed down. Your Punjab, your Maharashtra, and then you will also have a, quite a few ESA institutes. If we want to filter it state wise, you can select a state here and select Maharashtra or you can say Punjab. If I select Tamil Nadu, you want to know if whether any institute exists in Tamil Nadu, you will see that only ESA, PG, ASMR has a 2.5 lakh course fee structure. So uh, this is possible and you want to know whether the bot, but, uh, only those institutes which have penalties less than 20 lakhs, you will be able to do that. ESA, PG, MR has only 10 lakhs, so it is visible. I take away Tamil Nadu, you will have all the institutes which have penalties less than 20 lakhs, including zero. There's a beautiful thing that some institutes have offer courses at, uh, 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 non-clinical courses basically at uh, no fee, you will be also be able to see those courses. And uh, this is pretty much what we have. We also intend to update DNB details. We haven't updated it yet. Uh, the stipend and the fee structure for DNB is going to be the same, but uh, we haven't uh, 1.475 lakhs, which is 1.25 lakhs plus tax. We will be uh, updating the stipend details from MCC. Uh, accommodation and beds, it will be it will take some time for us to update. Maybe we'll be updating it as a PDF in the resources section. But the rest of it will be available. We intend to keep updating this uh, seat matrix, uh, sorry, closing ranks for all the institutes, all the allotment counselings going forward. So this is pretty much we off what we offer. Uh, hope. Uh, this will help you manage your counselings really well and uh, we hope that uh, uh, this is useful for you. Uh, can kindly subscribe if you are interested uh, and uh, share this video or share about Zynerd with other candidates for whom you think uh, this will be helpful. Thanks a lot for supporting us and uh, we've got tremendous response and we are grateful for that. Thank you so much.